Out of this, a dog park infested with mosquitoes in Oakdale has the community buzzing with questions. They're all over my back, starting from my lower back all the way down my legs. So, and it's just completely covered. CBS 13 first learned of the problem from social media earlier this week. A woman and her daughter posted they were both bitten numerous times by a swarm of mosquitoes. CBS 13's Angela Musalem went to the park and is getting answers tonight on what's being done to get rid of them. This dog park on Crane Road has been swarming with aggressive mosquitoes over the last few days, and it's gotten so bad that one family is too afraid to go outside. So there's one right there. Maricela Wilkinson lives right across from the Oakdale Dog Park on Crane Road. Her entire body covered in mosquito bites. You know, my upper back. These photos taken by Wilkinson earlier this week showing the severity of her bites. Since last week, Wilkinson says she's been bitten by mosquitoes more often and during the day. Went out to mow the lawn, and every time the lawn mower went through a shady area, it was just like a swarm of mosquitoes. Every time I looked down, my legs were covered. She's not the only one in her family being attacked by mosquitoes. Two right here. Maricela's son, Michael, and daughter, Kylie, are also victims of these bloodsuckers. It's usually when I go to the park and get bit a lot. Now Wilkinson says she doesn't let her family outside, fearing they'll get bitten by a diseased mosquito. They are not a threat of West Nile virus. We call them nuisance mosquitoes. Lloyd Douglas manages the East Side Mosquito Abatement District in Oakdale. He says this type of 80s mosquito hatches around this time of year. The harvest that is going on around the area has displaced a lot of mosquitoes. Douglas says the park is surrounded by mosquito drawing pastures, adding the outbreak was also caused by the extreme heat from the weekend. Mosquitoes hatch off faster when the water is warm. The city says it scaled back its watering schedule around the park in an effort to deter the mosquitoes, which seem to be in greater number in recent years. Mosquito abatement is now fogging the dog park, hoping to treat the outbreak. The huge issue, because I have to carry, you know, repellent with me wherever I go, just with normal activity. And just like Wilkinson, the abatement district recommends using mosquito repellent in addition to wearing long sleeves and pants when you do go outside. That was Angela Musalem there reporting for us. Now, this story had us asking tonight with the threat of West Nile virus and the Zika virus in mosquitoes, how many of those cases have we seen here in California this year? And here's a breakdown for you of the West Nile cases. 22 cases have been reported this year, including one deadly case in Sacramento County. More than 2,200 mosquito samples tested positive for the virus, 917 dead birds, and 135 sentinel chickens. And for Zika virus cases this year, 153 people have reported virus-related infections across the state, including 11 here locally. All cases were acquired outside of the state. One infection was due to sexual transmission. 24 women were pregnant at the time of infection, and two babies were born with Zika-related birth defects. Let's get to the